Yes! Today we have a Corporal Beast guide. Not in depth as it should be, but this will tell you everything you need to know to kill Corp Beast solo without breaking your bank. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I do recommend for this guide is at least 90 plus in attack and strength and the higher the hit points the better I also suggest that you have full void if you have elite better if not it doesn't really make a difference a torture or a fury a fury minimum primordial boots or D boots primordials would be a lot better but D boots will suffice for now and it doesn't really matter if you have a BGS or a Dragon Warhammer, but for me, I find um, BGS and Arclight is a lot better than Dragon Warhammer. For some reason, that it just makes it easier for me, but that's just personal preference. You can decide what you want to use. If you have a D Dragon Warhammer, use that. If not, use a BGS and an Arclight. Now, it depends on what level you are and what your stats are of how much you actually have to hit. So for me, I have to hit 15 arc lights and 450 BGS damage. That makes me take zero damage whatsoever. So once we get into Corp, and I'm going to talk about the mechanics and the rundown of how to do it efficiently or how to do it my way and my personal way only. You can tweak this to how you like it, but this is how I find it easier to do. So let's get to the, the Corp. Corp cave, I'll get my setup done and then we'll run through the invent. So, as you can tell, here are my stats. So my stats are quite close to max on attack and strength and I've got 90 defense and 98 HP. Now if you have vengeance, vengeance is a help also, but it's not necessary for this at all. Now, if you do not have an ornate pool like myself, you can use somebody else's house in world 330. This will slow down the kills, but it is doable. So I have 64 construction, so I have the spec restore spool. So as you can tell, I've got games necklace in my inventory because I do not have a jewelry box. Because I'm playing on my ult, I don't have this yet, but I'm just showing that you can do this on any account with any level pretty much, um, as long as you have the suggested in the beginning of this video. Now, I've got a cannon in my inventory as well, because if you place the cannon down on the floor in the courtroom whilst you're tallying back and forth from your house to get spec it signifies that this is your world and that you're in the room soloing corp now a lot of corp players or a lot of teams will know what you're doing and nine times out of ten they won't try and crash you which for a boss that is quite well known for its drops and how much money you can make of it the corp community actually is quite sensible and very supportive of solo players so for iron men and hardcore iron men if you just take a cannon in with you put it down it also helps for the core when the core comes and it also helps other players know that you're in the room trying to solo it yourself so as you can see i've also got the arc light so the arc light helps reduce corpse magic attacks to you and the bgs also lowers its defense as well so when you hit 450 damage and your 15 arc lights, you will take no damage whatsoever from corpse magic attack. You may or may not still get hit by the melee. Um, mostly you don't, but if you have low defense, you probably will take a bit of extra damage. A couple of prayer pots and some food. Now what I suggest you do if you're new to Corp and this is your first time doing it, I suggest going in the room first and suiciding with an inventory of food. This will help you be able to do the kill fully without any hiccups or any issues throughout. Don't try and be a hero, just drop some food, it's so much more easier. Make sure you have plenty of house teleports and plenty of games necklaces. You will be making a few trips to the bank, I'd say at least three trips to the bank whilst doing the entire kill. It is very very simple method and a very very long winded method. It's basically, it would take around 15 minutes to kill one corp. So after you've done all your specs which take about 10 minutes, then actually killing it which will take about another 5-6 minutes, about 15-16 to 16 minutes per kill. This is a very slow method but for hardcore Iron Man or Iron Man alike, if you want to get your spectral sigil or you want to get any other sigil, this is the way to do it. Especially if you're a low level 
with no money whatsoever and you can't afford to have a decent POH or any ornate pools in your house like I said you can use other players pools there's nothing wrong doing that it just means that the that the kills will be slowed down significantly around an extra five minutes I would say so it's not a big issue so let's get into the corp cave I'll show you what I do I'll speed the clip up so you can see and then we'll run through it again and I'll tell you the method that I use So, what you have to remember about Corporal Beast is make sure you take your cannon in the room with you. Remember to do 405 to 450 damage with the BGS, 22 or 15 arc lights depending if you're happy to do take a little bit of damage. Remember if you are new to Corp, die with a full inverter of food, it will make things so much more easier. Also, don't forget that Corp for the first five minutes is very, very difficult. For the first few hits, I would say, for probably about 50% of the damage. 
I would say you're going to get hit quite a bit. Now, you'll be going to the bank around about three or four times. This is not the most ideal method because obviously you don't have the pool, but it can be done. It'll just slow kills down. I normally take between 8 to 15 minutes on my alt account, and that's just fine with me. I don't really mind anyway. Um, one thing you do have to remember as well is that the Corporal Beast attacks with melee and magic. The melee, he can hit you up to 33, so make sure you stay away from him as much as you can while you're specking. So just try and run in, get your two specs and tab straight away, eat up, go back, etc, etc. The magic can hit you up to a 65 if you don't have protect from magic on. And if you do have protect from magic on, it will only negate one third of the, pro one third of the attack either way. So, a magic attack that can deal 55 damage has no, has a chance to join magic prayer with one or t with one or a two. So, you know, you've got to be very mindful of things like that, and it is, it's self-explanatory. I'll put it in the video so you can see for yourself. Court Beast can be very profitable, and it can be good fun once you start knowing how to do it, and you get more confident in doing it. You know, it's... <sighs> It's hard to do at first and it can be frustrating that if you do get crashed after doing so many specs, blah blah blah, and then you have to go back and forth, back and forth. Yes, it is a hard boss. I recommend duoing or going into a CC for a free-for-all. But if you want to solo and you're an Iron Man or you just want to solo and you want to get what you can for yourself, then this is the guy for you. This is how you want to do it if you don't have a pool. If you do have a pool, all of the telling back and forth to the bank into the house isn't necessary. You're still going to have to tap to the house obviously every time to use your pool, but apart from that, that's all you'll need to do. If you do have a Dragon Warhammer, if you want, use it. If not, don't use it. If you are going to use it, it's just the same as using an Arclight and a VGS. You're going to use five arc lights, 10, 10 dragon war hammers, and 200 uh, BGS spec. So it's pretty simple. You decide how you want to do it. This is just my method. So I hope you enjoy guys. I know it's uh, quite a pricey method to begin with. I mean, the spirit itself is 16 mil, but you know, if you're going to solo corp, you should have at least the spear and a fury anyway. I wouldn't recommend using the glory or anything lower just because uh, I don't think you're going to be able to get the specs off either way. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this guide. Guide, It's not um, as in-depth as it should be, um, but I didn't want to go too far in-depth because I believe that this can be simplified down for anybody to use. And if there's anything that I did wrong, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure there's going to be a few things that I've done wrong or I said wrong. Um, but apart from that, guys, I will see you on the next one.